Hi, class, and welcome to Bio 181 uh, online uh, for the fall of 2023. Um, I'm going to be your host. My name is Dr. Lewis Obermiller. I have a PhD in molecular and cellular biology and biochemistry from Arizona State uh, that I received in 1999. Um, a little bit about me is, uh, my background is I, once I got my PhD, I started doing research with the National Institute of Health, the National Cancer Institute. We worked on, uh, DNA profiling of breast cancer tumors. Um, and then I was recruited by the Genome Institute of Singapore to do the same sort of research with them. Um, I did that for a year. Um, and then I moved back to the U.S. where I worked for the Carl T. Hayden VA uh, Medical Center doing research on cardiovascular disease and diabetes. So my interests are generally in human diseases. Um, I used to look at the big diseases where lots of money is spent. And recently I've been more interested in orphan human diseases, which are diseases that um, no pharmaceutical company or anyone is working on because it only affects a very small percentage of individuals. And most of these diseases I'm looking at are childhood diseases. So for example, uh, one disease I'm looking at is Snyder Robinson syndrome disease. Um, and that affects about 10 to 15 families worldwide. So there's not a lot of money in it for research or things like that. And, um, and so I have kind of taken it on as a project to see if I can de determine what causes these diseases and then what we can do to find a cure. So that's what my lab uh, does generally. <clears throat> this semester um, I uh, tore my meniscus and they repaired it and that failed. And so now I have to undergo another knee surgery on the 15th and so I will be at a commission um, for probably a week um, I'm not sure how painful this is gonna be and then um, after that I'll I'll have to go through PT and, and so uh, get my mobility up so half of you have discovered that m my class got switched to an online format um, but rest assured that even though it's online, this the content of the class is exactly the same as how I teach it in person uh, for both of your sections. So, uh, with that said, I just want to remind everyone that you know you treat this like it's an uh, in-person class. So, I want you to watch the lectures instead of live lectures. They're going to be YouTube recordings. Um, I want you to take notes just like you would in a real class. From those lectures, um, don't rely on just the PowerPoints. That's just a guide for me. I, I talk about much more than I could ever put on a PowerPoint. Um, it would look like a textbook page. So um, once you take those notes, I want you to work on the study guide for that chapter. Now, the study guides don't cover everything that I talk about. Um, I didn't want to type up a whole list of every single thing. But it gives you a good uh, overview of the things that you can expect to, to need to know for the exams. Um, so once you finish the study guides um, and try to answer the questions in the study guides from what you've uh, memorized or, or studied from the lectures. Once you finish the study guide questions, then you're ready to do the crossword puzzles. So these crossword puzzles are um, basically the vocabulary for the class so biology is kind of a unique science because it's it's a biology chemistry and also a foreign language at the same time and that's because science is generally in latin or greek i mean even the periodic table uh shows you that like gold is au that's a german word it's not geo or anything so um i want you to learn these terms um you can you don't have to do the crossword puzzles i don't collect them um you can do note cards or however you want 
Uh, but you need to learn those terms, and that isn't all the terms that you need to know. It's just an example. I didn't want to make a 500-page crossword puzzle. But I did try to highlight the vocab words that you need to know in the PowerPoints. Um, and and I'll, as I lecture, I will tell you what you need to know and, and stress things that I want you to know for the exams. So make sure you watch the lectures. Once you finish the lecture, take notes, done the study guides, done the crossword puzzles, and learned the vocabulary, now I want you to take the quiz for that chapter. So the quizzes you're allowed to take three times. Um, they're 20 minute quizzes, they're 10 questions each. Each question is worth one point. Um, I let you take it, like I said, three times, um, and I take your highest score. So you're going to take one attempt. And when you do that, you'll find out what you need to study and what you know. And I want you to focus on studying the things that you missed on the quiz. So you can print out the quizzes, you can use it as a study guide, you can look at the answers, you can, um, I'm, I'm not going to give you the answers because then it would be pointless to give you extra attempts. But you can come to online office hours and I will go through the quizzes with you so that you can understand what you missed and why. Um, and we'll go over that in a minute. So uh, now I want you to restudy the things that you missed on the quiz. And then once you feel confident, I want you to take the quiz again. Right. So this will be your second attempt. Now, you might get a perfect score on it and be ready to move on, but I wouldn't do that because the questions from the quizzes come from a question bank that are, is very similar to the questions that you'll see on the exam. So it is in your best interest to take the quiz at least three times. Now, if you don't get 100% on it, then I want you to look at what you missed again and then go shore up those things that you're lacking, right? The questions that you missed, I want you to understand why you missed them and then I want you to take the quiz again. After you've done this three times you should have a pretty good grasp of the material for that chapter. So you're ready to go on to the next chapter and then you're just going to do the same thing until you complete all of the chapters for the exam and by that time you should be ready to take your exam. Right. So the exam is online. It requires respondus lockdown. Uh, the exam is meant to simulate an in-person exam, so an in-class exam. So that means no air pods, no headphones, no outside electronics, no lecture material, no books, no notes. Just you, a scrap piece of paper, a calculator, a periodic table, and food or beverage. Um, and then you will take the quiz online with the lockdown browser. And you're going to test that lockdown browser with the first quiz that you have. And then once you've done that, then you'll get your score. Um, I don't believe it provides you with the answers to the exam, but if you miss things, um, you can come to office hours and I'll be more than happy to go over the exams with you. All right. So I teach online and in person. Um, in person is good, right? It kind of gives you a, a guideline of when you have to be in class and when things are due and when the test is going to be and all that stuff. Online is a little more flexible. The lectures are exactly the same. The materials are the same. The study guides are the same and everything is that exactly the same. The only difference is, is that you cannot ask me questions, uh, during lecture, right? When the online class, uh, but in-person classes can't rewind the lectures either. So you kind of have an advantage here and a disadvantage. If you have questions, make sure that you email me or find a way to get your questions answered uh, so that you uh, know um, what's going on and, and why you miss things for the next exam. All right, so and, and that's because everything in this class builds on everything else. So you can't just like blow off the first four chapters and then expect to jump in the game. It would be like learning to run before you learn how to walk. So you, you have to take the steps. Anyway. All right. So we're going to start with Canvas. This is Canvas. It's going to make me sign in. So I will use your um, MEID. ID. 
think this is Maricopa. All right, and so we have to, we all have to do dual push now. Um, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, so the school district got, or the Maricopa County Community Colleges got hacked in 2020, uh, right before spring break. So they actually had to shut, they got ransomware, so they had to shut down the whole district uh, and extend the spring break for a whole week so that they could rebuild the entire system. And that's why we have to do this. Thanks. Thank you, hackers. All right. So, uh, once you get in, this is a teacher view. You're going to have a student view. Um, and then you can click on your courses and see your courses. I haven't published these courses yet, but, um, if you're watching this video, you're probably at section 17713, which I believe is the original online class. And then 17764, which I believe is a converted class, but I might have this backwards. Anyway, they're both identical. They're both fully online. They're on your time. So they're, it doesn't matter what I click on. I'm going to just click on this one because it's at the top. And then this is what you'll see. So this is an older video um, from 2021. I will publish this video uh, when I publish this course. And so the link will be for the fall 2023 intro video, which is the current video we're doing. Um... I'm going to go ahead and download the syllabus so that we can go through this. And by the way, we'll, this is exactly what I would, would do on the first day in an in-person class is go over the syllabus and go over Canvas. All right, let me reduce this size. It's not going to let me open it because I don't have 365. So let me pause this. I'm going to download 365. Okay, so I'm back. I got uh, Word downloaded uh, from Office 365 at Maricopa. Same thing that you're going to have to do. It took about 20 minutes. Anyway, so here's the syllabus. So uh, Bio 181 online. And by the way, there's a probably a yellow circle. I can't see it on my end, but when I move the mouse or if I click on something, it, it highlights it. So anyway, we're uh, fall 2023. These are the lecture sections, and then these are the lab sections. So make sure you're enrolled in one of these lab sections if you're in the lecture section. The classes are combined, so they're four uh, credit hours, uh, but you only get a grade for the lecture. And so that's why this is the only thing that's on Canvas. <coughs> We talked about who I am, uh, my office phone number. You can call this and leave a message, a voice message if you want. I'm not going to be in my office this semester, but it will um, transcript your message, record it, and then send it as a uh, voice recording to my email. So I can, I'll get your messages that way. Um, if you want to just type me out a message, you can do that. My email is obermiller at macc.edu. And uh, my office is in NU 183, although I won't be there until the 15th. It's going to take me a few weeks to rehab from this. And so I might not be fully functional until then. That's kind of the estimate. <clears throat> it may be earlier, but that's, that's uh, probably a good case scenario. My office hours are going to be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 11 to 12.15 p.m., so uh, not a.m., p.m., and um, there's a link for that in Canvas, so I will go back to Canvas and show you 
the link is right here. So you can click on that and then I have the actual correct PM here, not in the syllabus. Um, Monday and Friday, I usually reserve that for other stuff. So I'm writing a few grants and things like that. Uh, and so um, I have to meet with a whole bunch of people. Uh, we're working on a uh, NSF grant, which is National Science Foundation right now with ASU and with TGen and some other people. Um, so uh, I usually reserve Mondays and Fridays to do that sort of stuff. Uh, and sometimes I have to, I work with other universities out of town. So that's why Mondays and Fridays, uh, I need that for travel time. So lectures and the course materials are in Canvas, like we talked about. We talked about PowerPoints and crossword puzzles and study guides and all that stuff. And I'll show you where those are. So uh, they're under the home page, and you can see um, there's the Office 365 link. There's the YouTube videos for the lectures. So you just click on that. <laughs> And then you can open a playlist here. And then I mine this isn't monetized. I don't know why Google's doing or this. No, I don't want that. intro bio for me here is because in uh, the first section because that goes into my so um anyway each of the lectures will be, are by chapters uh and the slides that for, are from this chapter. So this intro will be different. I'll update that for this semester. Um, so you're going to start watching here, chapter one, and this covers slides one through 15 from the PowerPoints. And then I'm not done. So lecture two uh, is a get continuation of chapter one, slide 16 through 31. This, um, and it keeps going until we cover each of the chapters and then sometimes they overlap. So in this lecture, I covered chapter one, I finished chapter one and then I start into chapter two. So once you get done with these three lectures, this two lectures and part of this lecture, you'll be ready to go ahead and uh, finish your notes for chapter one, do the study guides, do the crosswords and then take the quizzes uh, before you move on to chapter two. And then you can just do the same thing. So this covers every single lecture all the way through, including reviews uh, to the end and final exam and final exam review, uh, which is here. Okay. So these are the individual uh, links for each of those slides as well. I don't know, just in case the playlist isn't working or whatever. Um, this is a link for uh, tutoring and then brain fuse. And we're going to talk about that in the syllabus in a second. And then uh, this is a guide for students that have never used Canvas before. Or it's just to kind of help you uh, navigate Canvas. Here's the PowerPoints. So you can bring these up. So you can go ahead and look through the PowerPoints if you want. Um, again, do not study just the PowerPoints. This is just a guide for me. So study what I say. What I say from my outline on the PowerPoints is what will be on the test. Okay. Um, so anyway, you, the PowerPoints are there. You can download those and, and follow along if you want with the lectures. Um, the crossword puzzles are here, so you can download the crossword puzzles and do them for every chapter.
and then uh, like I said, I don't collect these, so the I also have the answers for the crossword puzzles. They're on the home page, uh, just below the crosswords. So here's the answers. And then uh, here's the study guides for all the chapters. There's actually two study guides for chapter one. I split them in two. Um, and then for the genetics chapter, chapter 14, uh, there are problem sets that I want you guys to do to practice uh, getting good at this stuff. All right. So let's go back to the syllabus. Uh, let's see. You need a, the exams you're going to take and uh, respond as lockdown browser. Um, it's not very compatible with Chromebook. So you kind of got to hack it, um, because it's not a, a OS operating system or a windows operating system. And those are the ones that it prefers. You can use iPads. They work, uh, with a little tweaking. Um, but, uh, and Chromebooks will work with a little tweaking. If you don't have a computer for whatever reason, um, you can borrow one uh, from the library, I believe, um, or you can certainly use them in the library and and you can uh, take exams in the library as well. Um, so the labs are all online. So we're going to follow the scheduling canvas. You have to purchase a lab kit for these labs. Um, there are also other things that you're going to need to buy uh, to do the labs, like things you can get at Walmart, uh, hydrogen peroxide, ethanol, modeling clay, uh, or Play-Doh, you know, other strawberries, stuff like that. Um, the lab kit itself contains like beakers and uh, bacterial growing kits and Petri dishes and things that you can't commonly find. Um, I've kind of found a place that does their, their original mission was to do, uh, for homeschooled science kits for kids. Um, and so I've, I've got them to create a custom kit for us on their website. And so, um, they don't make a lot off of these kits that it's relatively cheap. I don't think that you could buy them individually for the same amount of money that you're paying. Um, even if you went on Amazon, I don't think you could get this stuff. So the kit itself, I think is $72. Um, I'm going to just click on the link here. So $71.95. I guess you can get 10% off if you sign up for that. that. And, um, anyway, so this is the safety data sheet and these are the contents. When you receive the kit, make sure that you have all of these things in it. This is what you're supposed to have. And if not, uh, contact them and let them know so that they can replace that or send you a replacement. All right. So you need to order this kit by August 27th. And I'm not sure where it says the ST, but I'm going to fix this. Uh, that way you can have it in your hand by September the 12th. So um, that gives the, it takes about 7 to 10 business days to ship. And your first uh, in-person lab, I'm sorry, your first at-home lab that requires the kit is due... Let's go to assignments. So here's a quizzes for every one of the chapters, and there's a syllabus quiz as well. Um, it's a lot of the stuff you won't see, but your first lab that you need is the metric system. You need this for you need the kit for this. So um, you're gonna click on the lab, and then you can download it or actually um, open it here, and then you can edit it using um, that draw editor. And I want to just read the lab and then do what it says. It's pretty straightforward. And if you do that, then you'll get full points for it. So, um, anyway, you'll need the kit to finish this lab. And this lab is due on, I believe, the 16th. So, you, 
it's going to take you a couple days to uh, probably do the lab unless you're just going to, you know, knock it out. It's, it's like a two, it's the labs in person are three hours. So each of these take about three hours uh, to complete. So anyway, um, make sure you get the kit, make sure you order it, the lab kit early so that you have it in time. Otherwise you're going to miss the lab. All right. So, um, the, even though the lab kit's $70, um, the, you're going to save, uh, money because you have to buy a lab manual, which is normally $25. And, um, you have to pay tax on that. And then the, you also shouldn't have to pay a lab fee. Uh, make sure you guys that signed up for in-person and got switched to online, you get a refund for your lab fees because you shouldn't have to pay that. You're not going to do an in-person lab. So there's no fees involved with that. And I think that fee is $25. If I'm not mistaken, it might be 35, but uh, check into that. So that, that should cover the cost of your lab kit. Those two things. Right here. Um, all right. So textbook, there's a lot of options here for the textbooks and you can read all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to summarize. So I teach out of the ninth edition and honestly, I recommend getting the ninth edition. You can get it from Amazon. You can get a used one for about $15 ship. That includes shipping. Um, Every textbook that makes a new edition is required by law to change 20% of that to call it a new edition. And they're not stupid. They they just do uh, new uh, images. And as long as they change 20% of their images, then they can call it a new edition. So there isn't much difference between the 9th edition and the 12th edition, except the 12th edition costs $200 and the 9th edition costs 15 so I would do that. Uh, make sure you order that early. I purposely don't teach out of the textbook for chapter one because of that. So um, we're, you won't need your textbook until we start chapter two. But we're going to start chapter two on school starts on the 21st. So we're going to start chapter two on the 29th. So Try to order your text as soon as you can. Um, make sure that you have it by the 29th. There are some texts in the um, library, right, on reserve. So you have that mean librarian that's not going to let you take it out or whatever, but you can use it for a couple hours. So uh, there are texts in there. If you get stuck and you don't get your book in time, you can go in there and use that book. You just can't take it home with you. Here's the computer requirements. Um, like I said, this is all online, so you're going to need Office. We talked about that. Adobe Flash, uh, PowerPoint. Uh, you're going to need a digital camera, some way to capture this. I think everybody has a cell phone. I, I went to Namibia, and pe even people that didn't have shoes had cell phones. Um, let's see. Grading. So, uh, 1,000 points possible for this class. Um, four exams are worth 150 points each. Um, the exams require a lockdown browser. So like I said, uh, treat it like a, a regular exam. Like I said, no electronic devices. This is like you were sitting in a classroom in a controlled environment taking a test in person. The quizzes, you can use study guides or study aids for that. I don't care. I'm not monitoring the quizzes. Um, those are to help you learn. There's 15 chapters, so one quiz per chapter. That's 15 total. There were 10 points. I dropped the lowest five. So 100 points or 10% of your grade comes from quizzes. Labs, um, there are 14 labs. I dropped the lowest two. Uh, so that's a total of 300 points or 30% from labs. Usually if you do the labs, um, I give you full credit. If you miss stuff, uh, I'll give you feedback and will give you a chance to redo the labs so that you can get your points back. Um, I allow you to turn in, I'm, I'm kind of uh, lenient on lab due dates, so I allow you to turn them in a little bit late. Uh, occasionally if something comes up, like, you know, you're going to have to deshell eggs and if, a lot of times people drop their eggs or whatever. 
So, you know, I, I can allow you to turn in a couple labs late with no penalty, but don't make it a habit because, um, then it just looks like you're, you're not, uh, keeping up with the course. And, and then I won't, I won't, uh, be so lenient anymore. Uh, officially I only take, uh, one late lab, um, uh, and that is 10% off a day. Uh, this is some guidelines that we need to, we're going to follow, uh, pretty strictly. So, uh, if you miss a lecture exam, uh, or you do poorly on one, your final exam can replace that grade. Um, if you do better on the final exam to pass this course, you have to take the final and two lecture exams. If you miss more than one lecture exam, so you miss two lecture exams, um, and this is because there's a problem with students signing up. <clears throat> signing up for classes, taking financial aid, and then not going to classes. So um, the the federal government and the accreditation agency for the community college in Maricopa requires that students participate in the class in order for them to stay in the class and not be withdrawn. So if you're missing half of your test, I'm going to assume you're not participating in the class uh, like you should. So you're going to be dropped. If you miss more than two labs, I will also assume that you're not uh, participating in the class and you'll be dropped. And if you miss more than five quizzes, uh, you will also be dropped. So those are not, uh, I'm, I'm not going to change that guideline unless you tell me that, you know, you communicate with me. If you just stop coming to class, I'm going to assume that you're not participating and I'm going to withdraw you for lack of attendance. Okay. Quizzes. We talked about the quizzes. There's a quiz for every chapter. You get three chances, 20 minutes each. Uh, there's 10 questions on every quiz. I take the highest grade of all three. Um, and again, I drop your lowest five grades. It'll automatically be done in Canvas. They'll be grayed out. So that's why those uh, are grayed out. If you take your first five quizzes and you get hundreds on all of them, they're going to get grayed out because it's going to drop your lowest five grades. And at that point, those are the lowest five. Um, lectures online and self-paced. You can log in and watch these lectures anytime you want. They're on YouTube. So, you know, YouTube's always open. Um, the dates are all in Canvas where everything is due. Um, and in and, and the syllabus, I'll give you a guideline of when I expect you to follow, to, to keep up when those dates occur. Because um, I know that a hard part of, of taking online classes is, is trying to keep pace with what um, is expected in an in-person class. All right. So... Uh, like I said, we talked about this, two labs are, can be made up. There's no, like, two labs can be missed. There's no makeup labs. Uh, I talked about dropping you. You know Canvas. The withdrawal policy is that I can give you a W all the way to the end of the semester. That's not like ASU, which I also teach at. Um, ASU has a hard uh, deadline. If you pass that, then you have to take the grade. Uh, at MCC, I can, I can drop down... Uh, when I'm doing grades, I can do a drop down and that W is still a, a possibility. Um, and that is all the way to the end of the semester. So grades this semester are due uh, by me, um, everyone, on the 18th by 5 p.m. So I can withdraw you on all the way to the 18th at 5 p.m. And after that, uh, all the grades are submitted and posted to your transcript. MCC has a policy where you can all, you can retake classes that you get an F in and it will replace that grade. I think you get, you can read to take it, retake it three times if I'm not mistaken. Um, but check with an advisor or someone, uh, that knows that policy better than I do. <clears throat> So academic dishonesty, you know what that is. Um, there's a lot of ways to cheat now. Chat GPT, uh, you can try to do some workarounds. Um, I'm just going to warn you that I know most of these. Um, and so if you are caught uh, being academically dishonest or cheating, 
uh, by using outside resources or things like that uh, for exams or papers or to do your assignments. Um, I will, uh, we will end up going to the dean's office and that could end up causing you to be expelled from the school and go on your permanent record. Um, I recently, I had a, a lawyer uh, instructor at Rice University contact me because a student turned in a paper uh, that was a lab that I wrote for a biotech course that I taught many years ago and I'm not sure how this person got a hold of it but the the student the law student had my paper verbatim even the typos in it in his paper that he turned in on biotechnology to the professor and so he got uh booted out of rice uh because of that so um i'm just letting you know like there's ways to figure out uh if you're using chat gpt uh to do your assignments or chat gpt to do your exams or you're being dishonest uh, there's a lot of uh counter measures that i've in, put in place to make sure that this online class is the same experience as an in-person class so don't do it it's not worth getting caught if you have a disability you can uh, uh, sign up with disability resources um, and they can and we can make special accommodations for you but i can only do that if i get a contact from them classroom rule of visitation that doesn't really apply early alert that's um basically to kind of make sure that you don't have any issues if you're not showing up to class or whatever uh it's strictly voluntary uh, veterans have their own special way of registering and getting enrollment the there's tutoring help so um i'm the best tutor for this class but if i'm not available you can use brain fuse you get 10 free hours um, of that and i'll show you the link is in canvas it's right here on the um right here in online tutoring all right and so you can launch that and then you just basically log in um to it and then um you'll go to the biology section and you can ask questions they're pretty good at stuff they're not really great at answering phd level questions but for this class they've never i've never asked any question at this level that they couldn't answer I did ha ask them a question at a PhD level and the the woman that was um, tutoring me uh, couldn't answer it and then she told me that her shift was ending and she just left. So uh, <laughs> that was really my only bad experience. But it was a super highly complicated problem. Uh, nothing that you would encounter in this class. All right. So anyway, and then there's also tutoring through MCC. So... Um, I'll just link you here. Come on. There we go. So this is the virtual tutoring center. I uh, looked at this earlier. Nobody was in here. So, yeah. But <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like. If there is someone in here, I think there's someone in the, where they in the library. Yeah, yeah. so this is what it'll look like, uh, whoever's in there, and then they'll be offline or online, and then um, you there'll be a link when they're online, and then you can chat with them. The tutoring hours for biology are 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday through Thursday, and 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Friday. Again, if you have questions, you can ask me, like, um, you know, anything. Uh, just send me an email. Um and I'm pretty good at responding to that. All right. So let's see what else we got. Okay. Class schedule. So this is for my in-person classes. This is the schedule I keep them on. And I'm just going to give you this to keep you on pace. So, for example, if we get to August 31st and you're not done with Chapter 1 lectures, and taking notes for those lectures and doing the crosswords and doing the study guides and taking all three of your quizzes, then you're behind. 
So we cover about one chapter a week. So this, there's a lot of work involved in this class. Um, so make sure that you try to keep up. Again, uh, it's online, and I understand. You know, you know, there's a reason people take stuff online. And those of you that were kind of kicked into this online class, you're going to get uh, to take advantage of this a little bit. So the exam dates are flexible. Like you can take them earlier or, you know, uh, it's not just a super hard deadline. There's a, a, a span where you can turn stuff in. The quizzes, I'm not super strict on. If you miss the, the day that it's due, that's fine. Um, just make sure they're all done before you take the test. Um, so like chapters, your first test is on chapters one through four. So make sure you have all the quizzes done for chapters one, two, three, and four before you take the test. Um, like I told you, the labs, I'm a little flexible on the due dates. You know, don't turn it in three weeks late. Uh, but a day or two is okay, right? Just look, you know, figure out an excuse and tell it to me. Um, the exams, I mean, there, there is a hard deadline for the test, like, because they're graded and I answer questions about the test. So, um, after the 29th, the exam one is no longer available, but you can take it anytime between the 24th and the 29th. Same thing here, uh, for exam two, October 22nd through 27th, exam three is the 19th through the 26th. Um, I know that this goes over Thanksgiving break. I was originally made this for the due the, by the 23rd, but then I was like, meh, you know, if they, if people want to take some extra time to study over Thanksgiving break or whatever, I'll let them do that. Um, but I got to keep you on pace because the semester does have a hard end. The last day of the semester is December 15th. So everything is due by then, uh, at midnight. And then that gives me a, two days to get all the grades put together and then submitted. So try to keep pace. You know, I know life happens, but you know, uh, try to catch up if you fall behind and if you get too far behind, then, and you can't catch up. Well, I can always give you a withdrawal, um, all the way to the very end. So just keep me posted. All right, let's go back to, um, canvas. So the intro video, I want you to watch. Everybody should watch that. This is how to do that. So you're going to do the chemistry assignment. You're going to have to circle stuff and like label it. You can draw directly in that Word document, but make sure you download uh, Office 365. And then you can watch this video on how to enable the draw editor. And then you can actually draw uh, using your mouse. Or if you have a touch screen, you can do that too. Or if you're on a tablet, same thing. Uh, office hours, so you can come to office hours and I can go over your quizzes and tests. I can answer any questions that you might have from things from the study guide or whatever. Uh, just come prepared uh, to ask me whatever you want. This periodic table, you can print this out and you can take it with you to the exams. When you take the exam, you're going to show you're allowed a blank piece of paper, so you can show that to the screen, then show the periodic table, and then you're allowed a calculator. It just can't be graphing or programmable. So, <clears throat> and it should be able to do square roots. So, I'd go to the dollar store. You know, it's going to cost you a dollar twenty-five, but it's going to do everything you want that you need for this class. Um, link for Office three sixty-five. Make sure you download that and install it. We went over the YouTube video playlist and all the videos here. Uh, the tutoring links are right here. Um, canvas guide we talked about the powerpoints the crossword puzzles answers to the crossword puzzles study guides for all the chapters and then the problem set for chapter 14 so that's all the the ancillary stuff the material for the class um i would post announcements here uh so i can get rid of this i've ch i updated the um lab so some of these don't apply this applies. So um, the lecture videos are, like I said, from a couple semesters. I switched the format so that the first test covers four chapters instead of five. And so that's going to throw the reviews off a little bit. Um, so I'll leave that up. And then if uh, 
there you can get extra credit for donating blood of 25 percent or 25 points you can also do feed my starting children or you can do other volunteer activities or have someone else donate for you so all of that is in the extra credit and i'll show you that in a second when we get to assignments okay so uh first quiz you're gonna have is a syllabus quiz so that's just to make sure you read the syllabus and you watch the review video and then um, the very first chapter one, you're going to need to use the Respondus lockdown browser to take this. This is the I, not that I care that you're, you know, using notes or whatever. It's just to test, uh, test the system and make sure that your computer is compatible with lockdown. So you're going to need to go to lockdown browser, follow the link when you click on this. Um, and then it's, it has to be downloaded specifically for the college. So download that and then it, it should allow you to take the quiz all you have to do is just click on it let me see i don't have it on here so it might make me do that or it might not because i'm the um, i'm not in student view yeah i'm not in student view but if you just go down here and click start quiz it will download respond as All right, so like I said, quiz every chapter, at-home labs. So the at-home labs, like here, the chemistry lab is the first one that's due. Um, you can download this and open it. And then um, if you go down to, if you edit uh, the Word document, I don't know why it's previewing it like this to me. It must, It's still in... Um, it didn't download it. Back it up. <coughs> okay, so this is the download link. There we go. So this is the chemistry lab, and then this is the draw tab. So you could actually draw in here. Maybe it's not enabled editing. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I don't need this. So we go to draw. You can actually draw. So uh, in here, like whatever you want. Um, so here you're supposed to circle the functional groups. So here's an amino group. So you can circle that and then just type or write out amino. And then this is a carboxyl group. So circle that. And then label it carboxyl. I'm not going to do it for you. But anyway. And then you can save it. Right. And once you save it. Then you're going to submit it. I don't want to save that. But you will. So you go back to Canvas. And then it, it'll tell you. Again it's not a student view. But it'll say submit. And then you just click it to attach files. So. Um it's the best way to do is to submit these in word documents and then you can embed the photos that you have to take with the labs um, when I designed this course I'm the first person that did online 181 um, at, at any community college and when I designed the course all of the professors were like well how are you going to show that they did the labs on their own or whatever and I said I'll just have them take selfies so that's why you got to take all these selfies. It's because somebody, uh, at some point, a bunch of professors didn't trust that you guys would do this and that you would cheat. So it's just to keep you honest. I really don't care um, about the selfies. It's just to make sure that you've done the work and to prove that you did it and not your cat or your uncle or whatever. All right. So let's go back to the assignments. Um quizzes, labs, exams. That's that's pretty much everything. And then there's extra credit. So you can do extra credit for exam one. Um, if you go to the scientific method, um, just do the exercise and then you take a screenshot and then you can submit that. Um, and you get 10 free points on your first exam. How easy is that? 
All right, so discussions. Uh, one of the labs is a population genetics lab, so you're going to need to do this survey. Um, let's see. I, I'll do it right now. So I... Can I do that? Let me try it. So I have a bent little finger... And I have an attached earlobe. So uh, when you do the lab, you will go through here and like count up how many people have bent little fingers and how many people have straight little fingers and how many people have attached earlobes and how many people have free earlobes. And you're going to need to do that to do some mathematical calculations to do the population genetics lab, which is right here. Um, and that's not till November 11th, but just make sure you answer that discussion group. If you guys have other discussions, you can start a new discussion. Uh, I'm totally cool with it. I want you guys to talk to each other just like it was a regular class. Um, so, you know, some people can help you uh, that they understand things that maybe you don't and you can help them in return. So I encourage discussions. <coughs> grades will be posted under grades. Um, this is kind of like MCC's official, um, like Zoom or, you know, Google Meet thing, but I hate it. So I don't want to use it. We're not going to use it. Uh, pages are like external web links that I have for you guys to use. So here's web links. It'll help you. Uh, Crash Course Biology is pretty good. Um, they have like a multi-million dollar budget. So they have green screens and like a million producers and directors and stuff for that. Um, you, so, I mean, you can take advantage of it. Um, I guarantee you Mesa Community College is not going to give me millions of dollars to produce those videos. Um, and there are other videos that will help you out. Um, YouTube, you know, is a great uh, resource. So there's a lot of stuff on that. There's genetics problems. There's uh, tutoring center. The various videos and external links that you can use to help you with the class. Um, and then this is for the labs that you're going to do. So this is videos just uh, specifically linked out for each of the labs that you can watch before you do the labs. To kind of give you some instruction of how you're supposed to do that syllabus is here study mate um that's like a way to do flashcards so you can do that if you want uh, it's kind of cool it's like quizlet uh so if, if you like that um i love it um this is a link directly to the quizzes i'm not sure what this is I guess you guys can chat to each other. I've never seen that before. Um, this is the link for long to, uh, uh, lockdown browser, online tutoring. I'm not sure what this is either. Um, maybe that's for computer support. All this other stuff is hidden. This is the biology tutor link. Um, I'm not sure what studio is. Oh, I can put videos in my library there. So it must be like they're trying to get away from YouTube and, and integrate it inside the, the canvas itself. So anyway, that's pretty much all the class uh, that covers everything. Um, like I said, you guys should order your lab kit as soon as possible uh, from Home Science Tool. Link is in the syllabus and also in Canvas, I believe. Uh, order your textbook, right? The ninth edition, Campbell. I put the link in the syllabus. Um, order those as soon as possible. You want to try to get those in uh, for the second week of school. Um, you can borrow a uh, text. We can't borrow them. You can use the textbooks in the library. Uh, the lab kit, there's a few days leeway to get that thing in. So, you know, but you don't want to wait too long or you're going to burn one of your labs and if you wait too long you're going to burn two and if you if you get two behind then you miss three labs then you're going to get dropped so um that's it um 
good luck in the semester. Um, I probably won't be in office hours much the first week of school um, because I'm probably going to still be recovering from the surgery. Uh, but um, there's not a lot going on the first week. It's just uh, watching the first chapter videos, taking notes, and then uh, doing the quizzes and stuff like that. So um, I will be available the second week of class for office hours and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, you can hit me up. Um, again, I'm good at answering email. You can leave me a voicemail if you want. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So um, hopefully we'll have a great semester. And again, um, if you have any issues or concerns or whatever, don't hesitate to let me know. All right.